So the Forest Park branches are right all through Put Point for the, for the west side. So after 60 years, uh, we, we've gotten our money's worth out of the Forest Park branch and we really have exhausted it, its useful life and we need to make a full investment at this point. Starting July 23rd, we're going to stop railroad operations between the Illinois Medical District Station and the LaSalle Station and the Blue Line Subway. Once we start, we'll be working around the clock for the duration of the line cut. There's a ton of departments within the organization that come together to make this happen, from the construction team to the rail ops team to the bus ops team to just ensuring that the customers are getting the best service that they actually deserve. We are working tirelessly to ensure that we have bus shuttles in place for those customers who are in the middle of the line cut. Bus shuttles will be servicing each of those closed stations during the entire time of the construction. As soon as the line shuts down, our buses will be in place to pick up those customers to make it easy for them to get from point A to point B. CT is also working to bring informational specialists to a lot of the stations to talk to riders directly and guide them on how to navigate this project. We recommend everyone register their Ventra card if you haven't done so already. Information will be tailored to them and their ridership behavior through the Ventra email systems. CT Innovation is really stepping in here to help make sure our riders have the best possible information during this project and how it impacts them and what options they have to continue to ride the CTA. During the phase of construction, the Blue Line will continue to operate on its 24-7 schedule. And so we're going to ensure that on AM peak and PM peak, that we're continuing to provide the same amount of service that we've been able to provide outside of the construction. This is really an investment on the Blue Line that benefits all the riders. Because every train that services the O'Hare branch of the Blue Line ultimately goes out to Forest Park. So slow zones on the Forest Park branch uh, impact the service we can provide on the O'Hare branch because it takes longer for that train to get to its end terminal and come back. And what most likely will be the biggest investment in technology is not stuff that the customer will see, it will be what's underneath the track. So how we manage the foundation, the dirt, the earthwork, and the drainage um, is really important for the longevity of this track. I love track jobs, they're, they're the most exciting thing in the world, being able to, to, to really go back to the foundation of what we, what we started with and, and, and build back up from there. And the plan has always been that as we do track work out there, we would, we would go after all station accessibility projects for the associated stations, and in this case, Racine Station really gives us that opportunity, not only to provide a better product for our customers in a cleaner, um, more modern station, but really creating access, and access which is, a, is really a principal right for everybody. Right now, this is truly the start to something that is truly, truly innovative and will be a great thing to improve our customers' daily travel experience.